Okay, so I'm with Anna Maria Stanku, who wears many hats here in Bucharest today. Um, Anna, um, you're from the uh, Romanian NGO ECIVIS. Um, you're also the CEO of uh, Bucharest Robots. And congratulations are on order because uh, you're now the newly elected uh, member of the board of EU Robotics. So, um, I guess most importantly in terms of the here and now for the delegates here, now you've organised, you've led the organising team for, for the ERF here in Bucharest uh, this week. Uh, how did you first get involved with the forum? Actually, surprisingly, I've heard of the forum and the uh, European Robotics Week three years ago. Uh, and I first attended, I attended the week in Amsterdam and I simply loved it. I just became in love with everything that I saw there. It was like I was going in a different galaxy with all the robots and all the inventions that I saw there. And I just wanted this to happen in my country. So next year I organized the European Robotics Week. I coordinated, so we, um, we, we took third place in Europe as number of organized events. And then I thought next year would be nice to have the forum here because I would like Romanians to see what the future looks like. To tell you the truth, uh, such a huge number of robots have never been to Romania before and it's a unique event. Okay, that's good. Um, and I think from things that you've said uh, during the forum that uh, you see um, the role f um, here also is representing the region, so beyond the borders of Romania. Uh, how, how Could you just explain that a bit? Yes, uh, yesterday in the General Assembly they showed us the map of members of EU Robotics. And most of the countries that were missing were actually Eastern European countries, which are not were not represented until yesterday in the board. I think it's very important that we don't leave behind these countries because they have very um, very good people and trained people here. We just need them to understand that robotics also involves software, not only hardware, and to create the opportunities for them to develop in this area. Okay, so um, winding forward to uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday when you can finally afford to put your feet up after having um, organised this, this uh, huge undertaking this week, um, what do you think you'll look back on as the highlights from European Robotics Forum in Bucharest? Well, I'm definitely looking forward to putting my feet up. <laughs> uh, but it was very impressive today. Uh, at the opening to see two general directors from the Commission coming here and thanking us for organizing this and all the people in the room. It was fantastic to have all these people here and most of the people have never been here before. So it's their first time in Romania as it is the first time for Romanians to see these robots. So I think this is the greatest uh, feeling of good that I have. Okay, so this is already a very large event and it's grown considerably since its uh, earliest days. Um, where do you think the ERF can go from here? Well, um, if it were up to me, uh, although it's difficult, I would um, open the exhibition to the public. Because my, uh, my only regret for the forum this year is that Romanians cannot see the exhibition because the um, uh, prohibitive prices. We, however, we did organize some uh, visits for some children and uh, students, but still I don't think it is enough. We receive lots of requests from, uh, from the public in general who would have liked to see. And um, although it was difficult to organize such a big event, at some point I'm thinking of bringing the Robotics Week also in Romania because that's a, an exhibition for everyone. So basically it would give the public at large the chance to see some robots. Of course I don't expect to have everything we had here, but still it's better than uh, what, you, what we usually see in Romania. 
Okay, so there may well be one or more delegates here today who, who might think, uh, I'd like to bring the forum to, to my country at some time in the next couple of years. What advice would you give to someone considering uh, organising the uh, European Robotics Forum? If you asked me yesterday, I would have said think twice. <laughs> but uh, today, I, in the middle of the first day, I can say that it's definitely an event. Uh, if they feel they are up to it, then uh, they should go for it because it's a very satisfying moment. Ana Maria Stanko, thank you very much. You're